is the season over if they lose on Sunday? <laughs> yeah. Like, come on. Like, look, at, at one and four, you, you're talking about, okay, well, now, if you're one and four, you got way more wrong than the quarterback. See, now you got to start dipping into other things like, well, did we have the right receiver? Are we running the right scheme? What the heck are we going to do with Ken Dorsey? Uh, well, do we need a lineman with our first pick or a receiver? Yeah. Well, yeah, are you going to buy a, a receiver or get a receiver when you don't man, not know, know about the quarterback? That is the worst case scenario when you're talking about all of these things in October. It's just not a good look. And you, they have to be some – I'm going to find out. We're going to find out. I'm going to find out how desperate they want to be, how, how, how much Kevin Stefanski – is on his guys in turnovers. Jim Schwartz is going to make adjustments. I need fight and fire. I, we talked about it before. We've been watching these other teams play. I know the world that saw, you know, last, last night, the Falcons versus the Buccaneers. Those guys, win or lose, play their tail off. I'm talking about flying to the football, playing to the last snap, the last moment. And people in Cleveland want to see that. We don't want to see you go out to, to, to Washington, Jason, and look around and, and lose to some rookie quarterback and not show no fight. Yeah, Mike loves to throw out must-win game. Is this a must-win game? He does. And, and usually I say it's not a must-win game until it's an elimination game. But realistically, this really does feel like a must-win. Here's the thing about if you start one and four. If you're one and four, you got to have a stretch somewhere in the schedule where you're going to win like five straight. Yeah. yeah. Where – and this is the, this is the is easy that? part of yeah. the schedule. Where coming? I mean, they, there's one straight. They go Chargers, Saints, Steelers, Broncos, Steelers. Are they going to win all five of those games? Are no. they going to beat the Steelers twice? I have a hard time seeing that. And that's that's really the the hard part is, is it impossible? No, it's not impossible to come back from one and four and make the playoffs. But show me in the schedule where they're going to win four straight, five straight, and I just don't see it because the schedule is so backloaded. When you get to December, forget it. <laughs> So, right. so where is this stretch where they're going to make up this ground? And that's why yeah. we talked about it on YouTube. It may not seem like a lot. The difference between one and four and two and three is massive. massive. Yeah, it really and is. And there's too much talent on this team. I don't believe this is a one and four football team. There's too much talent, too many veterans. The coaching staff is too good of a coaching staff. I still believe in that. This is not a one and four team. So I, I just I just don't believe they're going to lose this game because I just don't think I, it's not a one and four team. Yeah, you don't believe they're going to lose it. But if they lose it, it's over. It's over. So yeah. it's a must win for both of you. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll be the voice of dissent. It's, it's not a must win, but it's as close to a must win in week five as I've ever seen. Yeah. F consider this. When, when the division play starts, right. <laughs> when have the Browns been eliminated before division play starts? But to your point, Jay, if you lose, the best you can do and still make the playoffs, you got to go 9-3 and three over the last 12. Now, I don't think the schedule sets up very well for that, but I also think that this team, when they get Chubb back and Njoku and start hitting on all their cylinders – they could go nine and three over their last twelve. You also probably have to go five and one in the division. That's what you I'm do saying. have to go five, five and five. one in division. That was going to be my next point. Yeah. My next point is you're only losing one of your three divisional games on the road. That's wild. And so it's it's not impossible. You do know you got the Chiefs at the end of the year. I understand all that, <laughs> but hopefully by then the Chiefs have all the things that they want to have accomplished, and Patrick Mahomes is in street clothes. We like to be split down the down the middle here. So we had two in Jason and G who said. It's a must win. Mm -hmm. Jay, you wouldn't go that far, so I'll join you, Jay. Okay. I'm not going to call it a must win. I'm going to call it a can't lose. That's how I'm going to look at this. Just <laughs> oh, right down the so your glass is half full, but it's also half empty. Exactly. <laughs> can I, can I, can I like that. Can we make you guys go down the schedule and pick the wins they're going to get to get to that nine now, wins? He, here's the thing with that. <laughs> we, you, here's why playing the schedule game is silly. Who would have ever thought if Washington? If we would have played the schedule game, Washington. we had Washington as the easiest of the five opponents. Facts. They're the most difficult. Yeah. Facts. We, we did not have this team one and three and coming into Washington. You never know how injuries are going to look, but as we sit here today, I have a hard time finding a stretch where they're going to win five straight. And I, I think I I if do you too. lose this game, you got to win five straight. You got to find somewhere. I in will there. say this: if they lose this, everything from there on out, the next twelve are must wins. I don't know if they've won five straight under Kevin Stefanski. Probably not. I don't think they have. 